I'm back to the Kempco. Um, if you watched the video on changing the fuel pump last time, uh, it worked for a while and worked great. Um, I just got the, you know, replacement part from uh, the Walboro or whatever it is, Walboro uh, pump. I made this little adapter to hold it in there and, you know, so that's what I ended up with. And the, uh, we took the arm off just because we didn't care about the gas level. But this is the second attempt, actually. After the first attempt, we were losing pressure and the problem was this line right here was popping out up here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right here at the top. So the one that came with it, uh, with the new pump, was a little bit smaller diameter. And so I think we were losing pressure because when it would build up pressure up here, it was spraying out right there. So I got a bigger hose, blah, 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 put it all back together, put it back in there. Worked great for about three days. Um, then it started doing the same thing, kind of getting hard to start, uh, losing power, sputtering. Anyway, when I took it out of the tank, as you can see, it's already kind of settled back down right here. A hose clamp would have worked and submersible grade fuel line. Um, I thought all fuel line was the same, but it's not. But as you can see right here, this one's already splitting and coming apart. Now, if you had a hose clamp on there, it would have held it for a little longer, but it still wouldn't have been a permanent fix. So um, if you would get you a new piece of the submersible line, which is, I mean, even Bill found it online for, um, forget which gas tank he was replacing. Might have been the jet ski. Um, no, it was for the little John boat, that right. Um, one foot of it was like 27 or $28. So it's pretty expensive. It's a little bit different number. Um, just read about it. It's the submersible and it won't do this when it's in, when it's uh, soaking in that da gas tank for a week. But So that's where we're losing pressure this time was right here at this connection. Now I could just replace this piece but I didn't know until I got it out so I probably will put this on a shelf as a backup since it does work um, but I found this this is for a Kawasaki mule uh, this is just some Amazon you know whatever off-brand it was only 38 bucks or something like that so um, I already tested it it does go down in the hole and fits everywhere um, it's not quite the exact same pattern up here on top but it does fit in the hole and everything works uh, well uh, the, so I just made, you know, I'm going to put this gasket back in and then I made another one to make sure that it's around the ring here. So I just used my uh, mounting plate as a guide and made me a cork gasket. I didn't have any of the rubber stuff. And then I drilled out the holes to match here. Um, like I said, it wasn't an exact fit. So like this one's real close to the edge. These two are off the edge, but it's just got to hold it down so it doesn't vibrate. So let me get that mounted and then we'll see if it fires up and runs great. Um, like I said, when this was starting to act up again, it wouldn't take but about 30 or 40 seconds for it to start, um, especially as you tried to take off, it would like stutter and pop and um, go about 10 feet, then surge. So it's a mess, but hopefully this will fix it. Do check the plugs on this real quick. Mine were not snapped in, so a couple of bumps and whatever, and you'd have no fuel. Um, just make sure everything's snapped in right. Might need longer screws too, since this is going to be raised now. But maybe they'll fit. They're, they're not going to. They're really stubby. Oh yeah. They ain't gonna fit. So I'm gonna have to go get tractor supply and get some of these. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Had to go myself today as uh, parts fair is studying. So we will see. These are M5.8, and I got the 16 millimeters. Um, the 12s were too close to the other one, and I thought, eh, that may not be long enough. So I got these that are 16s. And then I found some little number 10 lock washers, I think. They're either number 10s or quarter inch, I don't know which. But I had them over there. And I'm just gonna put those on there for the little washer, because I couldn't get the old washers out. Let's see if this will work. One. 
and they had uh, the little hex bolts, four per pack, or they had some machine screws that were um, Phillips head, which had a little bit bigger pan head on them, and I almost got those instead, uh, just because uh, I liked the bigger head on them, but then I thought, well, this would be 50 cents cheaper to buy two packs of these rather than three packs of those. And um, that's what was on there before. So I'm just gonna keep it that way and hopefully it'll stay tight. Cork one's kind of hard to get through if you're not lined up exactly right. That ain't going nowhere. tools away then we'll put the seat on and try it out charging for a little while while I've been working on it. This time I think it's fixed. So for those of you that watched the first video, just make sure you get the submersible fuel line and maybe put a hose clamp on it and then you'll probably be good and never have the problems we did. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Remember, get out there and do something yourself.